I have part six of my May reading wrap up. This doesn't have as many books in it as I normally put try to put in them, but um, our library's been closed for Memorial Day, and unlike the other libraries in the area in the system, they didn't just close on Monday, they closed on Saturday and Tuesday, which is today as well. Um, so I'm trying to get everything returned because I'm going to have a ridiculously large pile coming in tomorrow when they reopen. Um, if you hear squealing in the background, that is River, my six month old. And if you hear video game noises, that is my husband playing, what are you playing? Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4. So I'm just going to jump into this. I am... Um, <coughs> I'm trying to not do spoilers, but there might be some. Um, the These are all graphic novels, so if they're, like, not the first or last volume in a series, then I probably won't say much about them. So, yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. The first one is The Backstagers, Volume 1, uh, Rebels Without Applause, by James Tinian IV. Um... I gave this a four stars. I really, really loved it. It's about this all-boys school, and it's the the kids that work backstage. But backstage is like this magical labyrinth, and the hallways move, and it's just, it's really, really good. I really enjoyed this. I'm really looking forward to the next one. Um, this was amazing. If you're, the only issue I had was they said something about duct tape one time instead of gaff tape. But other than that, it was amazing. If you're in a theater at all, or this sounds remotely interesting, I highly recommend it. Um, then the next thing I read was... Uh, I did put this on here? Okay, thank you. Um, Hawkeye Volume 2 Little Hits by Matt Fraction. I gave this three stars. It was okay. I liked it better than the first one. It didn't annoy me as much as the first one, but it was just meh. Not totally my thing. Then I read um, Lumberjanes Volume 3, A Terrible Plan by Noelle Stevenson. I gave this one three stars. It was good. It's just not totally my thing, but it's good. I read... Um, for some reason, Goodreads likes to reorder stuff if I read a bunch of stuff in one day. Um, so I read Lock and Key Volume 1, Welcome to Lovecraft by Joe Hill. I give this four stars. This is really, really good. It's, um, it's about these kids and their dad gets killed and then they move in with their uncle to this house that their uncle and their dad grew up in and there's all these keys and like you turn a key in the lock and it'll do a thing so like there's one key that changes your gender there's one key that you go through it and you die and you can be a ghost and then you, your ghost goes back through it and you're alive again there's one that will take you anywhere you want there's one that um, will make you an adult or a kid. There's just, there's, it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to reading the next one. It's a little thicker than most of them, but it's totally worth it. It's really, really good. Um, then I read Paper Girls Volume 4. Does this have a, no, it's name. By Brian K. Vaughn. I gave this four stars. This is really good. I'm enjoying this series. Um, Alex is reading this too, but he's still in the middle of this volume. Um, but, yeah, if you like um, Stranger Things, I would recommend this series. It's similar, not exactly the same, but it has similar aspects, and especially the first volume really makes me think of Stranger Things. So, Alex says it's a lot weirder. So, yeah, that's that one. Uh, here's this back, by the way, that doesn't go back. Then I read Sex Criminals, Volume 3, Three the Hard Way, by uh, Matt Fraction. Um, I give this three stars. It's getting away from the Save the Library storyline, which is why I enjoyed it so much. So it's still an interesting, like, 
sci-fi-ish type thing, but it's it's good, but the save the library part is why I liked it so much in the beginning, so we'll see how the rest of it goes. And then the last thing I read for this chunk is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. I gave this four stars. Um, it was a really quick read, but I really enjoyed it. It's a bunch of like... Um, like little creepy fairy tale -y type things, but they're not really fairy tales. I think she came up with but there's these little creepy stories they're a little short one-offs and there's a whole bunch of them in here it's really good I don't know a better way to describe it but I really enjoyed it and um, if you've been interested in it or that sounds really interesting even though it's a terrible description I would totally recommend it so I really enjoyed that that's everything for this chunk um, which gets me down to about three things checked out from the regular library plus Alex has one checked out so, I am. Um, hopefully, won't get too many in tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, if you guys are ever interested in me doing library hauls, let me know. I usually don't bother because I go to the library like every day and just pick up and return. But, um, is that no, something. You don't. I go to the library to do your pickups and returns. If that's something you're interested in seeing, uh, let me know. And if you wanted to talk about, discuss, ask questions about any of these books I mentioned, uh, leave those in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys about them. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!